so now we will see object position property in css so guys basically the css object position property is used to, to specify how an image or the video should be positioned within its container and this we are going to check with the help of examples as well now guys previously we have seen that the object fit css property has one of the values that is cover over here in which case the image will be displayed in such a way that only partial image will be displayed as far as the width and and height is concerned for that particular image container now guys along with this object fit equal to cover we can use the object position property in css in order to display the specific region of the image that we want to display and this we are going to check with the help of examples so let us move to the vs code over here so simply i am going to remove the previous lines of code inside the style.css file and inside the html file we have the div tag with the class container over here and inside this we have the sample image with the help of the img tag over here now guys what we will do is we will have certain styling for this particular container and the img tag as well so before that let us see how the page looks like over here so as you can see this is the original image that is getting displayed over here on the web page now guys let us provide the width and height for this image and for the container as well we are going to set certain css properties so first of all we will set the css properties for the container in which case we will set the background color as yellow color over here and then apart from this we will have the display property as inline block in this case and then we will also have the padding property and the value will be 20 pixels and then guys apart from this we will have the img tag for which we are going to set the css properties over here so let us say we have the width of 300 pixels in this case and a height of 200 pixels so guys we have set the width and height of the image as well over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see this is the image that is getting displayed over here now guys let us reduce the width of this particular image to 100 pixels instead of 300 pixels over here so basically inside the style.css file we will reduce the width to 100 pixels in such a way that it is less than the height of the image let us see how the image looks like so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see by default the object fit css property is feel over here which is trying to fit the entire image within this particular width that is 100 pixels in this case so guys what we will do is instead of having the image fit in this particular width only the portion that is this particular part over here you can see that there is a bridge inside this image we will only display that bridge over here with the 100 pixels of the width so what we have to do is simply we will set the object fit css property to cover in this case so that basically we will use this object fit and the value that we are going to set is cover over here let us see how the image will look like now so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser notice that the entire image is getting displayed right now over here since the default value is fill but we have set the value as cover now so when we reload this page as you can see only the bridge is getting displayed over here so guys in this way you can set the object fit css property as cover in order to display only the portion of that particular image now guys this is the middle portion of the image what if you want to see the right portion or the left portion of the image so in this case we are going to use the object position property in which case the specific portion of the image can be displayed so guys let us check that as well so inside the style.css file after the object fit we will have the object position css property and simply we are going to set the percentages over here so we are going to set 80 percent and after this space character we are going to set the 100 percent in this case so basically this will help us in order to see the right portion that is the right part of the image so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see this is the right hand side of the image this is the right part of the bridge that we were able to see just now and then when we reduce the number from 80 percent to let's say 70 percent we will be able to see the left hand side of this image to some extent so when we 
change it to 70% over here. Let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. It has come slightly to the left over here. Guys, similarly, we can see the extreme left of the image as well. So let us say we set the 70% to 15% in this case. So this will help us in order to see the left side of the image. So when we save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. So as you can see, this is the left hand side of the image that is getting displayed right now. So guys, in this way, you can easily set the object position CSS property in order to set the exact portion or the exact part of the image that you want to display on the screen based on your project requirements. So guys, comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is mask image property in CSS. So stay tuned.